beautiful looking fish. In the last episode, Jace's trailer had to make its own track. Yeah! Which left one of the tyres slipping off the rim. Oh, we've done a tyre. There's the bad news. Full of water too. That sucks. Oh, well, that's something we got to fix. <laughs> All right, let's jack her up, eh? Definitely got water in. I have to clean that out. A quick wash, rinse and dry, and the tyre is ready to be pumped up. Oh, I'd have to dig it out. Jace is hoping the bead will reset itself during the tyre inflation. There she All goes. this commotion has attracted the attention of a friendly local. You're kidding me. The size of that snake. Look at that, he's a friendly ass, look. Yeah. What can I eat, he says. It's a nice big snake. Yeah, a little bit of a feel of old mate. He's a bit hungry, he's a bit skinny. There he goes. Stick old mate over here, huh? There you go, that's all. Simon's mate. Take a look at those colours on the front there. All right, let's put you back away. You don't eat some marsupials. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some yeah. cats. Yeah, or the odd kangaroo. He'd probably do a little wallaby too, wouldn't he? Be close. Well, there he goes. Now back to the task at hand. She's on. It had been a very long day and I was really glad to be able to roll the swag out, sit around the fire and have a nice cold beer. Cheers boys. Cheers. Cheers mate. Love your work. Jace is here talking about some dessert and I'm thinking, yeah right, he's going to make a cake or, or something to that effect. Pull out the camp oven, we've got to make a fire and he pulls out the little butane burner and he cooks a cake in this little burner. First things first, you're going to need a bowl, so get your bowl out. I've got my cracking bowl there. And I've got a couple of bags of vanilla cake mix. This is just that uh, home brand stuff. So we whack them in, just like this. Two packets of vanilla cake mix. Look at that. All right. Then we get a bit of this uh, shredded coconut. We always love a bit of coconut. About that much will do. Couple of eggs in, so we're gonna need two eggs. One, and two. And of course, a bit of butter. So I got a bit of butter here. So whack one. Two big dollops of butter. Let's make it three. We're gonna mix that around a little bit. There we go. This is easy as this setup, there's no doubt about it. I might, um, Start warming up my little cooker here. So we're just gonna push that down there. There we go. I'm just gonna pop that lid behind me. And I'm gonna give that a bit of a touch up with some butter. So that it does fall out and doesn't stick. All right, now I'm gonna get a little bit of liquid in there. So that's where I'm gonna get some of this from. Just a bit under half of that container in there. And mix that through, so. I'm going to put the whole lot in there because I want to get the consistency right because there's a lot of moisture in that stuff. You've got to get that consistency right with it. Oh, that's mixing up nicely now. You can see that. Now that needs a little bit more moisture. So, in she goes. All right, that's nearly all of it. I'll see how liquid that is. Yeah, that's good. 
That's our cake mix right there. You can see the difference in the consistency. That is perfect. So now that's nicely mixed, simple as, I'm gonna actually just pour that mixture into the pan. In she goes. Like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, that'll settle itself just nicely. And this will be the tastiest dessert you've ever had. <laughs> All right, we'll stick the lid on, stick the glass lid on so she cooks fast. And there we go. Now you want to keep an eye on that little sucker there. You want it to rise up but be very careful you don't burn the bottom, okay? So, let's wait and we'll get ourselves a delicious dessert. I don't know about you boys, but that was one hell of a day. Been top day, mate. Yeah, it so has, much fun. <laughs> so much oh, fun. Heaps of fun. Yeah. Oh, the Pasco, mate. What a challenge. Well, the Frenchman's Track, mate, is one of the famous tracks up Cape York. You've got the Frenchman's Track, you've got the Kreb Track, and of course, you've got the Telly Track. The big three. The big three. The Kate big York. three, mate. But tomorrow is another day. The we're, only half, we're only halfway down this I track. I know. Yeah. We still got to hit the Wenlock. Wenlock will be all right. Yeah, just the exit on the Wenlock. Might be able to go for a swim. It'll be a bit of fun. Yeah. It is a nice creek yeah, for yeah. swim. See how we go. But there it is. Have a look at that. How cool is that? That, that is a dessert in a cooker. And it's that easy. You could actually um, let that get cold and cut it up really nicely and take it out the next day in the boat and stuff. It'd be great. Hell yeah. Mm. All right. Here we go. A bit of cream on yours, mate. Yes, please. Cream's been sitting there for a little bit, so I'll scoop him out for you. Oh, look at that. The cream on top. Yeah, give me a taste of, let me just try the cream. I might go the cream. I'll change my mind. Oh, it's got choices now. Yeah, I might go the cream. He's going the cream. I'm going they the went cream. custard. Change my mind. I'm going custard. There we go. There's your cream. Thanks, Cobber. And my God, was that cake beautiful. So, so good. That's definitely one I want to try the next time I go camping. I know my kids are going to love it. It's pretty good, eh, boys? Yeah, I think great. Beautiful. The best part about it is it's so easy, eh? We didn't have to cook it. That's the better part. Mm. Finally made it, mate, to the Wenlock. I can't see any water yet. We're a bit off the water. Now we got across the Pasco, mate. This one will be easy, I reckon. So you tell me. Oh, it doesn't there look good. Go. <laughs> that was messy. Watch that stump there I took out. <laughs> yeah, you got a little bit hung up there. Look at these trails are tough, mate. There she is, mate, the Wenlock. Nowhere near the water that was here last time. It's not even deep. Have a look at it. It's, no, it's not. Wow. Big difference. Just tranquil now. <laughs> <laughs> we would have been standing in waist deep water here. Oh, here in that morning would have been up to, up to here. Remember we were worried about the cars getting wrapped yeah, on that tree. Yeah, that's right. As you come around here, because the current was just yep. roaring. And that was the night before. And then the next morning, it was just... <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, what's the exit going to be like? The Wenlock itself I thought was going to be pretty easy and once we got there and had a look, it was. It was coming out the other side that was going to be the challenge. Oh, well, let's get a look at which one we should take. Perfect jam. Well, that looks like the one that most people are doing. Hell, let's get a big squeeze in there. Down here, this way, it looks easy. Yeah, it looks easy in here. Real easy. Uh, <laughs> but then you get rid of that, oh, that's got ten times worse. That's like gunshot. That is gunshot. <laughs> yeah, it's shotgun. Oh, it's very bad. Very bad. Spring water running out of the ground. Oh. Could get up there if we really, really had to, but we don't have to. Yeah, it looks like a mess. Hell of a mess. If we didn't have the trailers, you'd, you'd yeah. probably winch up it. Yeah, you would. 
Bit of spinning going on here. Yeah. People have been going up and down. Yeah. And just winching, I guess. Big winching from one of those trees up there. Yeah, but no. Nah. I think we try and get around that corner. 100%. You're going to know straight away if I can get around the corner. It's definitely the way. Yeah, no doubt about it. As long as I can get my line up here yeah. and get the round there like that, and I'll miss that big knob there, and that's what'll get me that the straight run. There's a bit of a hollow there, so it'll be slow at first, and then once I get to there, I'll get traction and away I go. Can only try. Yeah, you're good. It was going to go around? Yeah, yeah, you were good. Yeah, all right. It looked like it was going to ride up on it. It hit it. Yeah, it just hit it and then your wheel was coming past. You just took the little edge off of it. Oh, take two. Take two. Do you want me to just take the edge off with the chainsaw to help? Oh, not really, it just... You had it the first time. Yeah, I know. I, I slipped off that embankment then. You can see that little hole there. You're good, you're good. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> I have to winch you from there, eh? It just smashed the side of the embankment and that was it. Yeah. It hit it hard? Oh no, it just bounced around it, eh? It was absolutely nothing. Ready to winch? Yeah. Coming around the corner with the trailer in the 79, um, I was quite surprised on how far we did actually get up before I had to jump out and start winching. I wouldn't have pegged it for, for getting that far, that's for sure. I reckon that tree dead ahead. The winch, I thought, probably was going to fail on that hill. I mean, it was hard enough to walk up this hill, and it was pulling, you know, seven and a half tonne worth of vehicle and trailer up this hill. Single line pull. Mate, did you want to pulley block this or what? It's pretty full on. It's coming now. Might get a bit of traction here. Yeah. Yeah, you're coming up. Chewing up the track nicely for me, though. Yeah, it's coming up. That is taxing. Mate, that's a powerful winch. That takes a lot of grunt to do that. That's just, that's nuts. Mate, this is 10 times harder to get up here than we anticipated. We thought we'd nearly drive up there. It's not even close. And I'm gonna get up there yet. Now he's torn the track, a freaking new one. All right. Let it out a bit and I'll go up. Messed up, dude. That was mad. 
I didn't think it was coming up. I was just, I was just, at one stage there, I wasn't even moving. I was just going, it's just digging a trench. Mate, I tell you what, you got to have a solid winch to be doing that stuff. I might have to double line yours. I'm going to turn around and go back the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back across the Pasco, oh, mate. I'll, re nuts. I'll meet you around the other side. Time for the D-Max to give it a crack. Shut my window so I don't get dirt flying in my window like I normally do. Oh, he's that. coming up, JB. It's pretty full on this one. Going in. Where's we going? You're around the corner. I'm around the corner, that's a start. That is a start, all right. Start winching. Perfect. I'm gonna go with the boss ring because I wanna double the winch blind because he's got a 12,000 pound winch. Not like mine, mine's 16,500 pounder. And he's got that big trailer on the back, similar weight to mine. So it's gonna load up that winch a lot. So this will double the capacity of the winch. Yeah, it all looks good, mate. How's it feel? Feels all good. Looks good. Coming up over the hump now. Come on, baby. Pull all your rope out and we'll double double pull you off that top tree and I'll use the extension rope. We'll go through and I'll just give him an extension with this. So you just use this as an extension, you know what I mean? From the hook back to the vehicle. So we don't get it. So you do exactly the same setup through there. All right, give me some rope. Leave that one there, that's a spare. That'll go under there. And take that down to your end. <laughs> I don't think so. No, I ain't no. gonna happen either. All right, single, which is fine. Yeah. Here. You gonna make it? Yep. Yeah, sweet. Is it enough on your spool? Yeah. Yeah, on your drum. I'm happy with that. Way you go. Winching. We've got to go there. Just go um, single pull, he reckons. See how it loads up. Otherwise, you're going to have to go for another rope. Especially if you go high. Yeah, we'll go high. <laughs> go. We're going way up. Yep. Do you want me to climb the tree like, yep. like a coconut? Yeah, me like a, like a step. Got it? Oh, I gotta come down, man. <coughs> Wait on. <laughs> there we go. That way. This is taking some getting up here, let me tell you. This is nasty. Baby! Your winch run out of, out of go. Way too much weight. Yeah, we might have to get your truck and hook your winch to the front of me and... Now you, you can get straight on with your front winch now and like pull me up. I think we better. So it's so steep and there's no, there's no real good point to winch off. The trees are all off on the wrong angles. Really, we need 
Ideally, we need a winch point. There. Just plant a tree. Let's plant a tree here, and then we'll come back in 30 years. Go on. Gold. Then the track will be somewhere else. So yeah, we haven't got a winch point in the right spot. So we're going to use Jace's truck and use two winches. All right. This is crazy. Feel good? I can't see. All I can see is sky and bonnet. I'm nearly up. I'm nearly up. Oh, <laughs> That was bad, dude. <laughs> that was one of our gnarliest winches yet. Seriously. <laughs> oh, that was nasty, wasn't that it? That was proper nasty. Everything was getting a work out. Hey, we didn't break nothing. No, that's good. That's good. We're up. We're yeah, out. Yeah. There you go. And I thought, I seriously thought that the uh, Wentlock was going to be uh, easy compared to the Pasco. We had more trouble with that than the Pasco. Yeah, I know. That's nasty. Oh. We're up, JB. We got there in the end. Yeah. Oh well, onwards and upwards to finish the track. I don't know about you mate, but I think we conquered the uh, Frenchman's track. No doubt about it mate, we smoked the Frenchman's track. <laughs> sure did. Mind you, it did give us a little bit of a yeah, hurry up here and there. You reckon we're the first to drag such big trailers along this track? First and the silliest. we be first to last. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's a whole new ball game, mate. You're going to take big trailers. But how else are you supposed to get that gear where we're going? We're now going to continue west. We're going to cut through Batavia Downs and right across to the west coast of Cape York. After the long haul in the Frenchman's track, the boys make it to the west coast of the Cape. They hit the sand on the quads to scout out the perfect spot to launch the boat. Finally, after all of the dust and dirt, they can fish these stunning waterways. Waking up on the beach, in the swag, around an open fire, nothing better. Having a boat to fish these remote places, I mean, this is the, the sort of stuff that I dream of when it comes to fishing. You boys finish yet? No. We're Come there. on. We've got to go fishing. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? He's keen it does to look get, good. He's keen to go fishing. I'm ready to go. So get up nice and early. I mean, it's it's a beautiful view. The the little creek, the inlet that sort of came in. Oh, 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 amazing. Whoa. Just screamed fish. Oh, fish. that's a queenie. Look at the size cracker. of it. Oh, I'm on. Go, Jace. I am on. See, I told you this spot was going to be good. Oh, I got a cod. <laughs> Holy sh! Look at that, that's a cracker. Look at the size of this. That is a cracker. Look at that. Well done. That is a horse. That's a fish. Well done. I got a little cod. <laughs> I reckon a queenfish could eat that cod. <sighs> Never caught a queenfish that big before. That was definitely a PB. And, and, and the spot that we were in, yes. you couldn't get much better. Yep. There we go, that's a start. Yeah, it's not a bad fish. <laughs> <laughs> So after a little bit of a morning fishing sesh on the, on the beach, we decided to jump in the boat and go for a fish out the water. So we pack up the gear, load it onto the boat and start heading south. Lucky thing was we could fish all the rivers on the way down and wasn't it fun. It wasn't long before Simon was onto something decent. Boom <laughs> shakalaa. What the hell was that? What is that? Oh, it's a big queenie, that's what it was. There you go. Yeah, going yeah. to freaking town. It's a solid queen, Jesus. <laughs> and my little bait caster. <laughs> Simon finally manages to get this thing to the surface and we can see a bit of colour and it is a stonking queen fish. It is a monster. There we go. Look. Oh. 
Good fish, mate. That's a solid queenie. That <laughs> That's done. a queenie, mate. That is a queenie. That's a freaking horse. That gave me a workout. Let me give you the drum. Pulls it up and manages to get it into the boat. I mean, I didn't get a really good look at it, so I couldn't really tell if it was bigger than mine. He seems to think it was. I don't think it was, but it was a nice fish. I reckon it's one of my personal best queenies. He's up there with that one I got to Berkeley that time. Get a picky and we better get him back in the drink. <laughs> Go, buddy. He's gone, he's happy. <laughs> that was excellent. Good job, mate. Thanks, good man. job. Thank you. Straight good after that, on, on again. Another big too. fish. A yeah. nice trevally. Buddy. Good That's job. a good fish. And he catches That's two big fish, fish you, one Thanks after the that. other. What a lucky bugger. Yep. Another mackerel yes. goes there. That's a good trevally. There we go. Look at that. It's not a bad little spot here, eh? Great little spot. Very cool. Do you want to hang around here a bit more, or do you want to go and try the next river? Well, I'm happy to try the next one. We haven't fished the hell out of this. Yeah, that's yeah, all right. Some good right. fish. We we'll go for a squirt down the coast. Yawn. Okay. This is by far some of the best fishing I've ever had on the west coast of Cape York. Mora. <laughs> Cheeky little Mora. They're such a cool fish. Oh, Remora, sucker fish. They hang off of big manta rays and sharks and whale sharks and they stick themselves. Look at that. Stuck fast, like seriously, you can't even pull that hook. <laughs> Is that just not the most awesome creature on the planet? One Seriously. of the few fish Seriously. Mate, perfectly designed yeah. for that job. It attaches itself underneath the shark's mouth or manta ray and hitches a ride. When he smashes stuff, he eats up the bits. There we go. See him off. Imagine if we could make shoes like that. You walk up the side of a building. Seriously. You cannot replicate nature. Oh, shoes. <laughs> yeah. Remora shoes. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Got him? Got him. Oh. Yep, there he is. Little cod. Cod. Yeah. Cod just come out of that Cuddly. Look at that. Nice <laughs> work. So what we've done is move, I don't know, about five, six k's down the coastline and drop into another river mouth and then you can see the fish like it's, it's literally there everywhere whoa look at the size of that cod simon who's been this wide as the boat there oh, big groper groper see yeah. the size of him that's a queensland groper right there. now that's a fish you can't catch that fish <laughs> not on this gear no way! Yeah! Oh yeah! Got him! Look at that! Thought you hooked freaking Moby Dick God there for you. a minute. Can you pass me that? Moby Dick! Oh yes! Yeah. I'm on again! Yeah, that's a finger mark without a fingerprint. This little patch here is like a fish magnet, isn't cool. it? Dirty big cooter. You gotta watch that and launch out at you. Because that's what they do. And they tear you an absolute new one. an absolute bloody mess. Trick is to go in hot and hard and hang on. They just tear you to bits. If you're a little fish and that gets hold of you, your days turn proper pear shape. Proper pear shape. That guy has pretty much, he's top of the food chain around here. Here, buddy. Let's go for a run up the creek, see if we can catch some barrow. Eh? Yep. We go down this one creek and there were fish everywhere. It didn't matter what snag you threw it at, you were, you were pulling fish. There were jacks, there were finger marks. Nice. And before you knew it, bang, Jace is on. It's a good fish. Comes up to the top and it's a juvenile oh. Queensland groper. That is a cracker. That's a nice fish. That's supposed to look one of the prettiest fish you'll ever catch. <laughs> beautiful looking fish. Look at you. How nice is that? Yeah, that's pretty. That's beautiful. This thing can grow nearly as big as this boat. There you go, fella. Off he goes. We caught a couple of nice mangrove jack and it was lunchtime, so we decided to cook them up right there and then in the boat and eat it straight out of the pan. I mean, the fish are in the water, 10 minutes later, we we're eating them. Mate, that jack's awesome, isn't it? Now, I feel really privileged to be a part of this adventure with Jason Simon. Now, these guys do this, this is their job, this is what they do, and they get to see some awesome spots 
but to be a part of it with these guys and really see what they do and how they do it was such an amazing opportunity and I'm really, really thankful that I got to be a part of it. I can't believe this adventure is over. The top end of Australia, the western side of Cape York, north of Weeper, some of the best country we've ever seen. I don't know about you guys, but starting at the Frenchman's track, there's so many adventures to have up the Cape. Like, that's the first time I've ever driven a four-wheel drive down the Frenchman's track. That was hardcore. There you go. What about you, JB? Mate, it wasn't just four-wheel drives. We just took these machines, trailers, tons of equipment, winching, <laughs> creek crossings, <laughs> hills. And, and let's face it, it's middle of winter. And how good was the fishing? Fishing was unreal. Absolutely amazing. How about that queen fish? Got to be happy with the queen fish. No, mine, not yours. <laughs> Now, if you're going to make a trip to the Cape, there's no doubt about it. You've got to check north of Weeper, the blue water, the fishing, the history, the beach camping. It is sensational. I can guarantee you, you're going to have a BCF in good time.